Hello everybody, this is Charles Figley uh, from Tulane University uh, Traumatology Institute. I want to uh, share with you another video log. Uh, this is the fourth week. Last week we looked at this website and I showed you the Help for the Helpers section. Whoops. Um, about Help for the Helpers. Right. And um, here I showed you underneath the videos the fourth one will be there, hopefully, is uh, a program developed for, by my wife for helping people develop their own self-care um, plans and uh, to think it through. So I want to keep going in that regard. Until we start, yeah. And we have, you know, five minutes or so. So um, as you see here, the table of contents here, the assessment personal and then professional, just want to go through these fairly quickly and show you that uh, there's nothing to worry about. It will take a little bit of time to complete them, but it's going to provide you with a lot of information that you may not ordinarily have as long as you fill it out, you know, completely um, candidly, you know, being as honest as you possibly can. So let's go through them then, uh, table of contents. So let's just go to the chapter two assessment. Uh, this. This measure basically uh, provides you with an inventory of how many major changes you've had in your life. Um, a major change is the traumatic event, obviously, but there are other events that are major that potentially could be traumatic. So it's important to uh, get, get a sense of how much stress you've endured. And uh, the amount of stress you had last year is a high predictor of um, challenges and difficulties. Uh, Health, actually, is among the others, among other things. So this is, you know, tells you how to, uh, what to do and, and how to score it and interpret it. The next one is how vulnerable you are to stress. So we talk about building up resilience, which is really the theme this week. Uh, how to overcome vulnerability is the, basically the same kind of thing. What are we vulnerable to? What are we vulnerable? What are, what are our weaknesses, in effect, uh, as helpers? Uh, so in order to, be, to help the helper, we're urging you to sort of consider what's going on inside of you, what is activated inside of you at times when you're trying to, to do your job and, and help other people. So it, you know, how did I eat? Um, I eat at least one hot balanced meal a day as an example here. I mean, there are many, many items, but essentially it's trying to get at, you know, do you take care of yourself? Do you attend to yourself? Uh, as my last book, title says, uh, first do no self-harm. Are you harming yourself? Maybe as a result of dealing with uh, the stress that you're under. Another, so again, scoring there as well. And then the next was Eagle Resiliency Scale, uh, a really fun 14-item measure that uh, estimates uh, how much uh, resilience you have generally as a trait, perhaps uh, consistent throughout your life, irrespective of whether there's a traumatic event that's happened or so that's always useful, and it, I think it reminds people that they're maybe re more resilient than they thought they would be, or have the capacity at least. It's it building your personal resilience. So that gets right to the essence of it. So it's have a good self-concept, good self-esteem. I'm generally flexible. And notice the flexibility, it, there's an overlap with the previous measure. But the point I'm making is it will indicate to you, by being honest, how, um, how resilient you are right now. And then healthy coping strategies, the same kind of thing, because they're, they list as many as <laughs> many as I could think of. And then uh, finally, the uh, checking your basic needs uh, with regard to basic, basic self-care needs in particular. So I usually get enough sleep. I eat something fresh and unprocessed every day. All these things are a matter of uh, health and uh, how healthy your uh, lifestyle is. And then life satisfaction, you know, how satisfied you are with your life. God knows uh, there have been times in my life that's been really a challenge. But uh, it provides a snapshot for you. Now, this is just the, the uh, personal ones. The professional assessment we'll talk about a little bit later. But just with the, the minute uh, I have left, I just want to say again to those of you who are in the helping professions that uh, your job every morning when you get up, is to take care of other people and what their needs are, to look in their eyes and figure out you know, what's going on with them. Especially if you've known them for a while, there are indicators, right? 
So what I'm asking you to do, at least in the five minutes that I provide each week, is to focus on yourself. Focus on what's going on inside of you. What are the things that are holding you back? What are the things in your daily job uh, are triggered uh, that, that impact you in a negative way? And what are you doing about holding on to the things that you really savor and re you really like? And uh, I read a couple of articles uh, in the last week about that. Uh, one was, for example, in terms of nurses uh, working uh, in a unit with, with mostly women and how uh, restorative it is. So we need to hold on to the things that are really critical for us to enable us to do the best job we can, but also try to eliminate the things that really aren't that good for us. All right? See ya.